Hey there, so today we're going to be checking out some combos. We're going to mix it up, make some noise, compare the sounds of uh, the combos that I got in the house. We've got um, a real budget version, we've got a more high-end version, and we've got a version, I don't have a clue what it is to be honest with you, um, but <laughs> it'll just be fun to check them out and compare them. So what we'll do today is we'll test out the clean, we'll test them out distorted. And I'm, I'm genuinely interested, I've had these amps for a while, never really compared them, and I, I want to I hear what they sound like and I hope you guys find it interesting too. And I'm, I'm interested to see how it affects your playing because different amps, different equipment affects how you, you use them and how you play. So we'll see if that comes into play at all. But yeah, we'll have a quick look at the amps. We'll look at the guitar that I'm using and we'll make some noise. All right, let's go. Okay, so first up, we got the JE50 Acoustic Solutions. Excuse the state of it because it has been stored. Um, and hasn't been used for a little while. It's a 50 watt amp. I do have a, um, a demo of this amp on my channel if you're interested, if you want a little bit of a deep dive into it. So that's number one. Number two, I did a video on this amp recently. It's a Vox Cambridge 15. Really cool little amp. Again, I've got a video on this um, on, the, on this channel. So have a look at that if you're interested in that as well. And finally, we're going with the Marlboro Soundworks 220R. Don't know an awful lot about this amp, to be fair. I've had it a little while. I've even gigged with this amp when I've had to use a smaller kind of setup. I think it's 100 watts. I don't have a video on this amp, but I've got some pedal demos where I have used it. So feel free to have a look on my channel at some of the pedal demos. But yeah, we're going to check these out clean, distorted, make some noise. Let's go. Come on. And today we're going with the old Stratocaster, baby. Let's go. Right, so we're going to start with the acoustic solutions. It's just going to be um, hearing the amps in the room with the camera microphone. So let's check it out. <laughs> the acoustic solutions with all these amps I've tried to get as nice clean as I can so they're all set up differently just to a setting that I just like the sound of so let's check out the Vox next <laughs> Next up, Marlboro, let's go. There's a little bit of buzzing on this. I've not tested this amp before the video, but let's see if we can just get the tone, see what it sounds like just in general without worrying about the buzz. We're just going for the sound. Let's check it out.
So that's it. Those are the three amps on the clean, same riff, so you can try and get a little bit of a comparison. Just playing it just then, really, really interesting to hear the different sounds. It's, it's amazing the difference these three amps make. Um, but yeah, let me know your, your thoughts. You know, I'm in, really interested to hear what you think of those cleans. Let's check out the gains now. Let's see what the gains sound like. Okay. We are going to check out the gain on the acoustic solutions now. Let's check it out. This is what you get. The acoustic solutions distortion let's check out the vox so here we go the vox sounds come on <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, man. Okay, on the Marlboro, what I've had to do is turn the preamp all the way up and then the volume as high as I can go without this room exploding because of the volume. This is this is actually an insanely loud amp. I've used this for gigs, so it, it definitely packs out some power. But um, there's no pedals, no effects. This is what you get trying to get gain out this amp at a reasonable level. And to be fair, my neighbors are probably crying right now anyway when I say that. But anyway, let's make some noise, come on. <laughs> That's it, that's, that's about as much gain as you're getting at this volume with this amp. Marlboro, come on. Now that was a real brief test. Like I say, for two of these amps, um, I, there are some proper focused videos on these. I haven't done one on this, but I might do at some point. However, it was really interesting to hear the different sounds playing the same riff, same guitar, but completely different feel with all three, all three of them. And actually, depending on what you want, particularly when it comes to combo amps, they all offer something different. Um, interesting to know, obviously trying to get the gain out of this one, there was hardly any sort of distorted tone um, on this, even when I, the preamp, like I said, the preamp is full whack on that. And I can't go any higher with the volume at, at home. That would just take my head off. So yeah, really interesting to see that the distorted tone was quite calm on that one but just the tonal quality as well. The comparison between these, I've got to say, this, this is clear that this is the budget amp. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it as just a basic practice amp for if you want to get going, but there's a reason these are only a few quid new, do you know what I mean? And not expensive, brand new. I picked it up for something like a fiver, um, which is fine for a fiver, absolutely nothing wrong with it. And if you're just starting out, if you just need to make some noise, absolutely fine. But these two in terms of the quality of sound i don't know if it's coming across well enough on camera but in the room 
these sounded completely different to this and it it makes you play differently because of the quality of the sound you can hear everything a lot more clearly the note definition particularly on the distorted tone on this one completely different it was it was amazing the sound of the distortion on that that just sounded when it was distorted sounded like a, a load of hornets were dying horribly <laughs> that's what that sounded like this I don't, well, I don't know if you, if you watch the video on that one, it's a real warm, um, I mean, there's a valve in this amp and you can tell when that gain kicks in. This amp is fantastic. I haven't shown the pedals. Uh, maybe I'll do a pedal comparison at some point, but this amp is fantastic when you run pedals through it. I know that I've used it for gigs, um, real good platform for pedals. If you want to get a distortion, this amp is not the one, all right? You're going to have to put some serious volume out if you want to get anything resembling a gain tone in the home um, and that's just not practical that that's my opinion what are your thoughts based on these combos here what did you think what did you notice um, with regards to the differences between the, the budget and the other two or between all three what were your thoughts I'm genuinely interested I'd like to maybe try and get some different combos some higher end ones just some different makes and models because these are the three I have in the house. There are so many little practice amps. Um, so I guess the it's endless, the different combinations of sounds. But I've got to say, it's been really fun just testing all three of them out, getting different sounds, different flavors, and yeah, making noise, man. It's always fun, always fun, just bl blasting some amps in your house and driving uh, your family and friends absolutely insane with horrendous guitar playing. So yeah, please let me know your thoughts. Please follow the channel, subscribe. Um, I really love your input. It really, really is great to hear your thoughts on, on the videos that I put out and I love hearing different thoughts and opinions. Cheers for watching guys and take it easy.